What's up everyone, Lion Roar here, and in today's video we're going to cover a brand new legendary hero in the Alliance Quest Summon Portal. It is Melody de Winter. So of course I'm going to break her down and give her a grade. But first, download Jumpstone Legends, a mobile RPG puzzle match game. Use the link in the description to start with free stuff including a bonus hero. All right, so Melody de Winter is a five-star ice hero of the wizard class. Um, not one of the best ones, but it's okay. It's fine. Um, also part of the Musketeer family. So there's a lot of text here, but basically it's a bonus for one, two, or three heroes from this family of 50, 75, or 100% chance to give cover to random ally for three turns when this character casts their special skill. So again, I've covered cover before, but... Um, when in cover, the ally takes no damage from special skill attacks or normal attacks. This character takes 60, 50, or 40% of the damage that would have been received by the character in cover. This effect can't be dispelled, but ends when the character is defeated. Characters can only give cover to one ally at a time. Now, I think I thought this effect was going to be better than it actually is. I mean, when I first talked about it, I was like, not certain because we hadn't seen something like this, but... Um, it's not looking quite as impactful as I thought it was going to be. Now, if you've had a different experience, let me know in the comments. But I don't think this is going to impact things uh, too totally much. Uh, there's another passive here. Damage on special skill and cover damage. When this character receives damage from special skills or in place of a character in cover, there's a 60% chance to deal 20% of the received damage to all enemies. Um, all right, I have the max power preview on, so this is an example of, like, if you put emblems on it, you could get 986 attack, 942 defense, and 1747 HP. With that off, your starting point is 813 attack, 807 defense, 1509 HP. And the special is Masterful Manipulation at slow speed. Ugh. All right, you guys, if you've watched my videos before, you know what I think about slow in this day and age is it's... There's so many very fast, fast, and even average speed heroes that you can, like, make fast with all the mana effects. So it takes a lot for a slow hero to be good. They have to basically end the game when they go off. Let's see if she does that. Deals 385% damage to all enemies. That's a lot. That's a lot of damage to all enemies. The caster regenerates 918 HP over six turns. I think by the time she goes off, that's not going to matter all that much unless you get in a really grindy match. I mean, sometimes that happens. So I, I could see her, at least so far, having some use in really grindy matchups for longevity and just dealing um, an absurd amount of damage. All enemies reflect dispellable status effect buffs they would receive to a random character on the opposing team for six turns. That's a lot of turns, but this effect coming at slow speed, I worry, is... Um, too late you want to see an effect like that on like a fast hero you want to get that off first and then for all the buffs and things to go off i mean uh in addition to that one that's just buffs that opposing heroes would receive but there's also all allies reflect cleansable status ailments they would receive to a random character on the opposing team for six turns so they're kind of um they kind of go together right but at slow speed it's almost too late usually by the time a slow hero goes off all the buffs and status ailments have already happened. And this isn't going to be a particularly good hero on defense because then the person who's uh, coming against her can just make sure that they're not bringing a whole lot of buffs or status ailments. It's it's hard to avoid in this day and age, but I mean, you could just make a, a big power damage team. Straight, straight damage, you know, something like that. Um, or there's ways to prevent her effects, you know. Um, Give her mindless attack or, you know, mess with her mana or something like that so this doesn't even go off and you can still bring your buff and status ailment heroes and get around it. So, uh, I don't know. This doesn't look like a special that just ends the game when it goes off and half the special seems like it comes too late. So, I don't know. I mean, I think that her main purpose is to deal a whole lot of damage to everybody. And when it comes down to it, that's the name of the game. Defeat the opponent. Do a lot of damage. Dead heroes can't do buffs and, and cleanse status ailments or whatever anyway. Um, so, you know, there is that. Uh, I think if I were to use her in a team, I would be looking to really try to take advantage of that damage and focus mainly on that. And the, if the rest of the effects in the special happen, great. It's bonus. But 
I'm not expecting that. I just want to defeat my opponent. So although there's a lot of text here, I actually think she's a simpler hero than she looks. You're just bringing her for damage. And hopefully she gets to go off because she's slow. <laughs> so, you know, um, where do I see her being used? Uh, very fast wars. Sure. Why not? Probably mostly on offense because, like I said, if you put her on defense, people are just going to play around her. That same thing is true of raids and tournaments and stuff like that. So, I mean, she's got most use in those very fast situations. And then otherwise, I'm not sure. I would never put her on defense. And uh, on offense, gosh, you just have to hope that damage is going to clean up the board and end the game. I, you, you just have to build a synergy to do that. She is probably going to be better uh, when you're playing events because you have those big waves where all this area of effect damage is extremely useful. And uh, I actually think in events when you get up against the bosses that have lots of buffs and status ailments, then she's going to be really good because, of course, you go into the bosses fully charged, you use it, time it right, and then you can just blow up the bosses with damage and prevent anything that they're trying to do as far as buffs and status ailments. So there is some use to her. Um, I think she's a... a powerful hero she's just not crossing that line into something that i think is going to be great and therefore i'm going to give milady a b i feel like most people watching this video probably looked at her and thought she was a little better than that like at least b plus or a minus but i don't know like i i just can't give an a or an a minus or anything like that to a hero that i don't see being useful in defense um you know half the situation more than half actually because your defense gets attacked more than you use an offense so uh that's the reason for the grade she is certainly not bad i would not be angry about getting her i would not be disappointed um i just wouldn't be putting all my resources into her that's my thought what do you think let me know in the comments if you enjoy videos like this make sure to like subscribe and hit that bell notification and i will catch you in the next one